Do you know what gets pharma companies in trouble with the FDA? Every year, FDA inspectors issue hundreds of Form 483S, and most of them are due to preventable issues. In this video, I'm revealing the top 10 most common reasons for FDA 483S and how you can avoid them. Welcome to Pharmalytics. Let's start at the beginning. What is Form 483? It's a type of notice issued by the US FDA when an inspector finds anything that might violate GMP or regulatory requirements during an inspection. It's a warning, but a serious one. Ignore it, and you could end up with a warning letter, import alerts, or even a shutdown. Now, let's break down the top 10 reasons companies get FDA 483S. And trust me, these are things you'll want to avoid. First, inadequate investigation of deviations or out-of-specification results. Too many times I see companies skipping real root cause analysis, skipping corrective actions, or just retesting without any solid reason. For example, when a QC lab ignores two failing assay results and just reports the third passing one, without investigating, that's a clear violation of 21 CFR 211.192. Second, poor documentation practices. This means anything from backdating to missing signatures or using whiteout. Original, legible and timely data is everything. If an analyst signs off test records before running the analysis, that's a breach of Alcoa Plus principles. Third, missing or incomplete SOPs. If your procedures are missing, outdated, or nobody knows them, you're in trouble. No SOP for cleaning validation in a sterile facility? That's a violation of 21 CFR 211.100 and 211.22 D. Fourth, data integrity violations. Whether it's shared login credentials, disabled audit trails, or selective reporting, it's a huge red flag. If an analyst keeps deleting chromatograms and only reports a passing result, that's a direct violation of 21 CFR Part 11 and 211.68. Fifth, unvalidated equipment or systems. Using production machines or analytical instruments without documented validation is a common issue. If there's no OKI documentation for your stability chamber, you're not meeting 21 CFR 211. 63 and 211.68. Sixth, lack of documented training. Everyone working on GMP-related tasks needs proper up-to-date training and records to prove it. No evidence of training, especially for something like a septic technique, is a violation of 21 CFR 211.25A. Seventh, inadequate cleaning and sanitation. No cleaning logs, reused solutions, or no validation for shared equipment can lead to massive compliance failures. Make sure you verify residue removal. Don't just assume it's clean. Eighth, failures in environmental monitoring. Especially in sterile areas, if your monitoring isn't regular or you're not investigating excursions, that's a violation. For example, repeated microbial issues in a class 100 area with no follow-up, that's a problem. Ninth, lack of change control. If you change a process, equipment, or vendor without proper assessment and documentation, you're risking compliance. It's not just paperwork. QA needs to be involved every time. Tenth, failure to follow GMP procedures. Ignoring SOPs, missing steps due to production pressure or weak QA oversight is never justified, even for a tight shipment deadline. Here's a real FDA example. In 2023, a company received a 483 for failing to investigate multiple OUS results in their QC lab. That led to a warning letter and public exposure moral of the story if it's not documented or not followed it didn't happen so how can your company stay audit ready and avoid form 483s train your staff regularly implement a robust qms conduct internal audits practice good documentation remember alcoa plus perform risk-based investigations and make sure your systems are validated did you find this helpful like this video, share it with your QA or QC team, and subscribe to Pharmalytics for more pharma regulatory insights. Comment below if you want a video on how to respond to FDA 483 or real FDA 483 case studies next. Pharmalytics, regulatory clarity for pharma professionals. Follow us on YouTube, LinkedIn, and Facebook.